You didn't shake yourself. Well, I ain't buying it. You ain't got to. You just did. Because you said you ain't got it. You know what I found out? Ain't nobody your friend but God. Can't nobody love you but God. That little stuff you call love. Can't nobody love you but God. Can't nobody be with you but God. A misconception to think that somebody doesn't love you. Can't nobody love you with true love is but God. Because he's the only one that can give you everything you want. He's the only one that can give you everything. If your words mean something, you'll watch what you say. Because until I can give you everything you want, how can I love you and I can't give you what you want? That's the godly love or condition. That's the real stuff. That's stuff what y'all playing with the feelings and emotions. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, that's something else. Call it love of your own. Call it whatever you want to call it, but is it ready? Because if you ain't get what you want, you upset. Well, you ain't this, you ain't that. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I don't think, I think you ought to take the love off that and put business. Do you take this man to be your business partner? I do. <laughs> the business do his part. However, <laughs> if the business go bad, we go bad. We go good. Because if it was love, you strive to give people what they want. Because if your example is Jesus Christ and God, it would be selfish. It would be love. It ain't what you do for me, it's what I can do for you. But I love you. But hey, I love you. Let me get on back. Because you're talking about key. The first verse, nobody can love me like God. Nobody. Nobody. And some real, this is some truths got to come up in your life. When you got a king and you got to dedicate nobody. Cause why? Because I'm not going to substitute nothing for him. He's my everything. He's my all in all. And it'll stop me from getting tossed and turned by situations and circumstances. Because I wasn't expected to come purely only from him. Yeah. Errors going to come from you because you don't know me like you know me. You understand me like you understand me. You can't love me like I want to be loved. Only he can love me like I want to be loved. Amen. So it takes take all of it, plus it out of this because I don't expect somebody you can't do. Only he can do it. Yeah. And then stop a lot of arguing, plus only he can do it. Because I'm going to act up sometimes, you're going to act up sometimes. We just got to learn how to deal with it and get right. Ain't God good. I'm not going to like that. I want to thank you better than others. Ain't God good. Because ain't nobody loves you like you. You can never replace him. You can never replace him. You can never replace him. I was with him when you met me. And I need to let you know it was me and him before you. And it'll always be me and him for you. Amen. Or vice versa. Yes. I just want you to know that that's who I love. Because he loves me back. He's the only one who can give me everything. Yes. I don't expect you to be there. But I expect you to add to that. Because if you can't add to that, I don't need that. Because I got somebody to love me. God and we walk because he's my king, he's my Lord. Yeah. He's my protector, he's my way maker. Yeah. And I put all my trust in him. Yeah. I can deal with you because I understand him. 
If I don't understand him, I'd never be able to deal with you because I'm expecting you to do what he's supposed to do. But he's the only one that can do it. So that's why I praise him and glorify him and lift him up. And praise him and why don't you interrupt him while I'm giving him his praise and give him glory. We can do that later because right now I'm with him. While I'm with him, you, you get jealous all you want. It. He's jealous too. When I put something before him, and he can do more to me than you can. All you can do is leave me, but he can hurt me. But we understand it. But God gave me. You sure God gave me too? Because you put it before God. And there's some factors and things that you got to put in order and understand about a king. It's only one king. It's not multiple kings. It's only one king. You can't have more than one king in your life. It's only one king. And you can't be having all these people come in your life and you expect them to be kings in your life. Well, he's your king. Yeah. You already got a king. Yeah. You're the fucking pay him. Yeah. A helping him. Yeah. Somebody be there for you to help you. Yes. Serve your king. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Ain't that real stuff? Amen. Get that son and just go to the line and get a book. Look it up. Kingship, kingdom, kingdom. It's different. Yeah. Ain't God good. King moves stuff, king do stuff, king bless you. And if you do what that king say, he rewards you. Yeah. And the problem is that you do what he say, in spite of you, in spite of you represent him. Is you represent him in the store? Is you represent him in your house? Is you represent him on your job? Is you represent the king? Because he's not slack concerning his purpose and everything he's going to do, he's going to do. You should have more than enough of everything that you do because you serve a king and you don't own nothing no way. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't own nothing when you got a king. Everything belongs to the king. That ain't your car. That ain't your house. That's the king's house. You're just a steward. And if you're stuck, you get it to him of God. Hardship because you got ownership. 
If you didn't have the ownership, you wouldn't have no hardship. You think you own it. You don't own it. You're just a steward. The biggest problem with a man is the thing you own. You might buy <laughs> For the day. A lot of people spending your money will be my own. Oh. <laughs> they got good. You're so pretty then. Ain't got good. No, you know, we're working together for Christ. We are vessels of Christ. We're working together to please one person. That's him. We're not trying to please these gentlemen. We're trying to please him. Striving to please God. As individuals, as saints, striving to please God. Try to please yourself. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna group script. You gonna wait when you get what you think you wanna go and you think you're gonna be pleased, you ain't. That's a mirage. You as an individual as yourself but never be pleased yourself. Because you can't please yourself. And I can say that boldly because when you get where you think you think you need to be to be pleased, you're going to be seeking something else. Because as long as you're in this body, it's always going to be something else to try to cut your eye, catch your eye, or you're going to want try to please yourself. You was pleased when you got it, but then when you got it, something else came up. If that would have been pleased you, you would have been shouting all day and all week long. You was pleased, you was pleased when you first got a place to stay, but after you lived there for a while, you want something else. You were pleased when you got the car when you was walking for a while, but now you want something else. Because it's never about pleasing him, it's always about pleasing you. And you will never be pleased. You'll never have the right man, the right man, the right woman to please you. <clears throat> that don't exist. Because the more he tries, the more you're going to need something else. The more she tries, the more you're going to want something else. Jesus. If you don't believe me, keep living. And if you don't believe me, look at your life. Lord, if you do this, you got it. Look at you. Lord, if you do it, you got, you got to look at you. Ain't God good. God, thank you for getting me off this bicycle. I'm riding two weeks later, a month later. Lord, look at you. I'm just sure want me something else. That's just how the flesh is. It's never fully pleased. No, just give me somebody to love me. Just give me a man to be the fuck man. Yeah, he'll be the devil. I love get rid of this stuff. <laughs> I can serve you better, God, if he ain't in my life. <laughs> ain't nothing good. That's just true. And when you begin to understand, when you start pleasing God, and, and, and striving to please God, and you please God together, if you, as an individual, you should try to please God. The only time you want to please God when you please. If you ain't pleased, then you by God. Ain't that real stuff? Oh, yeah. He's that one made the beginning and the end. He's all in a bag of and a coat and an ice cream coat. With everything going your way. He's a blessing God with everything going your way. Ain't no good. But when that ain't going your way, hmm, you ready to go now? Me too. <laughs> Matter of fact, I wasn't even came. It was one for the Lord. <laughs> ain't no good. But I'm representing me, I'm representing him. So I'm going to please him. 
I'm going to preach till the cows come home. Till you tell me to stop. Because I ain't going to please me. I ain't going to be comfortable. I got to do this work. My life no more on my own. I've been born with Christ. What about you? That's real stuff. When you stop looking at you and please him and serve him and give your life to him, have you gave your life to Jesus? I ain't talking about being saved. Have you gave your life to Jesus? Because a lot of us uh, proclaim salvation, but we ain't gave our, our lives to him. Ain't gonna do it. So you say you're saved. Okay, I ain't you to say. Have you surrendered your life to Christ? That's a big difference. Because you can't do what you want to do. You belong to him. You can't go by how you feel and what you think. You cast that down quick because I have to do what he said anyway. He's my life. You're here to have that I breathe. I can't do nothing without him. Amen. Ain't gonna do it. And I have to look back to him now because it's not about me. I gave my life to him. And you want to take it belong to him, man, right? If I want to take my, if I want to take the car, my car, brand new car, take it and put it in the mud and it belong to me, ain't nothing you can say. If I want to put PIP on my car <laughs> and not put full curtain, ain't nothing you can say. Because mine. Amen. If I don't, you belong to God. So if you want to put a law on your head, you are praising for it. Because he's your God. He's your Lord. And when you told us to him, hey Lord, Job really had no choice. Where could he turn? It's only one God. Amen. Job had a God we don't even have in 2021. We think it's somewhere else to turn. Ain't nowhere else to turn. They say go back. I say go back where? Ain't no way to go back to. It'll never be the same. As the session that you think it'll be the same. It will never be the same. Because once you don't taste this and try to taste that, it ain't the same. That's like you can tell a back snider from a, a somebody that never knew Christ. will come back to Christ. But somebody that never been saved, they never come back. Because you go back and never the same. So he said, man, I'm not going to go back to church. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And stay away from where it's good at. Because it ain't the same. The drink don't taste the same. I know, I don't. Don't worry about that. <laughs> It ain't the same. Because I'm going to take something greater. And I know something more. I think I'm not going to go anywhere. You go ahead, it ain't going to be the same. It ain't going to be the same. There's really nowhere else to go. But for. Because it's, it's, it it's changed you. And that's why it's a backslide. And somebody never been saved. And now my God calls them backsliders. Because he know they're going to go back. But what never been saved, he still runs the street. Still be the street. But never was drunk there for his time. He never know they might come back. Amen. And no matter how much time it takes, that don't mean it. You don't know, you know what time it's going to be. Only God knows. Ain't God knows. But that's how you go back. They pray to God, he don't come back. Oh, she don't come back. Why do they go out there and go there and try everything again? They couldn't find nothing. Like it was. Man, everything done changed out there. <laughs> they, go, they don't even make the bull like they used to. They ain't talking about the drink you drink for energy. They don't even make them no more. I don't think. They ain't got to You go and look at the crack here on a six pack of bull and say, bull? Somebody hear this, right? No, I'm talking about the bull. They said, I don't know how to make that anymore. Thank God. 
He said, why are y'all making food out of soup? That was a joint. And then who said, that's a joint. You ain't got to do that. But why? Because things have changed. And you don't taste the God. And it ain't the same, man. And all you do is press forward. And, and obey the key. The, the thing to do now is obey the key. Is do what he say. Because really, the Lord is not going to be the one who I want to learn that you see. If you would have ever really tasted God and ever really been in God, you'd be there. But if you ain't never really been in God, and you would just go to church, chasing that skirt, okay. or that woman, you ain't coming back. And you're going to be accused of the brothers. Yeah. All you're going to do is talk how bad the church is. Because you never was there. You know the penalty, penalty of talking about God's people? Do you know the penalty for that? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of you don't know. Do you know the penalty for okay? that? Now, some of you tell me you did with some things that are going with that because you don't know the penalty. That's the penalty, man. So come on, I'm going to talk about God's people. No matter how these days, but what you think about them. It's still God's people. And a lot of things you go through, a lot of things we go through, because we run our mouth too much in the wrong spots. That's God's been. Ain't nothing my business. Yeah. Ain't God's good. Ain't nothing my business. I don't know what to do. That's on God. They're God's people. They ain't my people. I'm just a shepherd. I'm just a preacher. Ain't God good. Man, you can't take me. It's God's people. Now you mess with the backslide, you mess with his backslide on the field on the ground. Ain't gonna do it. But if he ain't no back, or if he or she ain't no back, now they ain't coming back, man. He, but they'll be accused of the church. I was in the church. I ain't going back in them peoples. You would never say then. You would go up for the people and not God. So you never really taste the God. Because the people got in your way. Come on, go to St. John, 14, chapter 5, verse. Ain't gonna do it. Say, I'm Lord Jesus. Say, kingdom. Say, I got a king. I serve my king. Thankfully. I'm going to speak that with you. Believe that and do that. Serve your king, man. And not serve yourself. Because the only thing wrong with your life now, you serve yourself. If you were serving the king, would nothing be wrong with your life. And that real stuff, that's when you get that spirit of selfishness out of the way. I ain't got this. I don't do this. They do it like this. It ain't about you. It's about him. And if you praise him and glorify him like you're supposed to, everything else will line up. That's what's got to be real to you. The problem is that you think about you instead of thinking about him. Let your mind be staying on who? Him. Meditate on him day and night. Ain't God good. Now I'm looking over there to the left and to the right. Meditate on him. Ain't God good. I don't care who don't like me, who like me. I'm meditating on him. God will fight my battle. He'll work that out. Yeah. Oh, you just ain't doing nothing about it. I can't do nothing about it. But you ought to, I can't do nothing about it. Yeah. How they feel, how they look, I can't do nothing about it. That's God's me. Ain't no good. That's why you need ten dollars either. That's why you shouldn't have no either. That's all you. He said, touch not my Lord. Do my problem no harm. Did he say that? Yeah. Touch not my Lord. He said, don't touch the least of them. Yeah. Did he say that? Yeah. You are not about the man. I ain't nothing about the left arm. I ain't nothing. That's God's business. Now they don't put that in God's hand. That's out of my hand now. Yeah. Because they don't overstep their bounds. Yeah. Why can't they say, yeah, I did. They did. They did. They did. They did. They did. That's God's business now. That, that was me and them, but now it's them and God. Because they don't understand their bounds. Ain't God do. And all you have to do, you just have to understand it, man. This is taking real. And the more you believe it, the more you live it. The less you believe it, the less you believe it. Ain't God do. I mean, y'all just should do what I need to talk about all day anyway. And, oh, what are you doing, Hey, God, hold right 
Y'all hear that? Jesus said, I am the way. Anything you dealing with, anything you going through, you got to understand Jesus is the way to handle it. Jesus is the way to get rid of it. Jesus is the way. There's no other way. Frustration, aggravation, talking about it, hollering about it, fussing about it, rolling your eyes at it, doing whatever you want to do, going skinny dipping, running around naked. It don't make no. Jesus is the way. Get the attitude, hating on each other, man. Jesus is the way. Why you ain't going Jesus' way in the midst of your situation? Why are you drawing farther from God instead of getting closer to God? He's the way. And the enemy, I keep saying, the enemy know it. He know it. He wants you to be mad at God and frustrated at God because you feel that God ain't moving when you ain't seeking God because he's the way. Jesus is the way. So y'all be praising and worshiping God, glorifying God, lifting God up, because you know He's the way. He got everything you need. He got everything on bring it back. He's the only one that can take care of you. He's the only one that can do this for you. There's no other way you can go over here, go over there. Jesus is the way. But I think I need to go get another. No, you need to seek the Lord. You need to praise and worship God. You need to glorify God and keep going, walking forward and praise God and God. He's the way. How can I handle this, Jesus? What's what I'm supposed to do, Jesus? Well, I read it, but we'll seek till you find it. Seek till you find it. Not in the door shut me open. Seek it. Not to the door. Don't give up on God. He won't give up on you. Keep praising God. Keep lifting God up. Don't get silent. Keep telling him he's the Lord. He's my king. He's my way. He's my provider. He's my keeper. Keep glorifying. Keep lifting up. And I've been doing it for two weeks. I've been going through this a long time. It ain't long enough. Ever did it. And you've been going through it. You ain't been going through right. People always talk about how much they go. Well, how you how you went through? What did you do about it? Did you seek God? Did you praise God? Did you spend time with God? No. Well, you ain't done it right. That's why I kept going. He's the way. Because you have your good days and bad days. You got your song you put on. Good days I remember bad days. And listen to that all week. Instead of seek God, I got to get on. The, I got to get on the grind. I got to get on the grind. I got to seek God. I got to praise God. I got to lift God up. I got to do what I need to do. I'm gonna praise and worship God through it all. I'm still gonna do my. How do know that you can't stop life because you're seeking God? Amen. Not in 2021. You got to seek God while you still have the life. Life don't stop because you're going through something. Bills don't stop coming because you're going through something. People don't stop acting up because you're going through something. That's why it's a spirit. It's two lives you live. Spiritual and flesh. You live in the kingdom in the spirit and you live earth in the flesh. But you got to please one king and that's Jesus Christ. He know what I got to do. Well, that's why you can't get it done. Because you got Jesus' way. You can't cut God off and, and focus on just what this one thing. You got to still give God his glory and give him his praise and recognize he is your king and he is your Lord. And when you recognize he's your king and your Lord, you will get he gives you strength to deal with situated circumstances as long as you know he's the way. Amen. No matter what I'm doing, I'm not gonna make this if he don't make a way. I'm not gonna come out of this body. He don't make a way. He got me in the way. He is the way. Ain't nothing I can do of myself as I move physically. I got to pray spiritually because even though I'm doing things naturally, I know this ain't the way that I'm gonna receive 
people of God got for Because I got an enemy. I get up, you get a good work. I get up and do what I need to do. And, and, but God don't make a way. When it wasn't no way. Because I keep praising him and glorifying him and he is the way. I'm just a vessel. My purpose of even doing this ain't because of me, because God got me there to do something for him. So I'm doing it unto the Lord. Everything I do, I got to do it to the Lord. And I'm doing it because I'm seeking God, and God make a way, that God will provide, that God will do what because he is the way. I never get caught up like this going to make me. This can't make me. God making me. But this is the way God got me even going right now. I'm going God's way, not my way. I'm going Jesus' way, not my way. Don't get caught up doing things that you think are going to make it better for you when Jesus is the only way that's going to get better. Who glory to God? Because he's the way. The truth. He's not only the way. He's the truth. He's the truth.
Jesus. But the problem is not God, it's you releasing it to God. Because you don't know it's the truth. So when things get rough because the decision you have made, they all got to tear down. God take one block down, you put another block back up. God take three blocks down, you put three more blocks back up. Every time you try to tear down, you don't get naked. Every time you try to move the wall, try to tear them up, here you go with your sister. It's just to have your way going. I trust you. I trust you in what you're doing in my life. I trust you where I'm at in my life. I give you praise and I give you glory. The frustration is when you don't trust it. Because sometimes your body goes through transitions. But you trust what they got. Oh, you just growing. And the, the, you're, you're growing too fast in one area. And when you're young, you're growing. And, 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 and your body's not, your bones are not developing as fast as you as you as you growing. So it's costing you some pain. Say growing pain. Spiritually, you're supposed to be growing and you can't grow because you can't take the growing pain. You want to be medicated. You want God to make you, but you want to be medicated. You want to be the strongest sleeping medicine you ever had. You don't want to feel nothing. Come on, somebody. In my life, you don't want to feel nothing. God, I want to get there, but medicate me. He said, no, you weren't medicated when you did it. If you just let me lay down and trust me, you have joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. If you just trust me with things that ain't going right and stop crying out to me about something that I have to tell out in your life because you got some things that you don't build up in the realm of the spirit and places that you got built up and I will destroy it. If I take you there before time, you're going to mess it up. It's something when God bless you with the little things, you still don't give him the praise and glory out with the little things. Why would he bless you with me anymore? God can't care you provide for you, open doors, making way for you, stabilizing you so you can keep going, and you can't praise him and glorify him because you don't trust him. Whew. And you want to give your money. For what he done did. Y'all ain't saying that. That comes from trust. Because it looks like he's tearing down stuff, even though he's stabilizing you while tearing down. Come on, somebody. See, even though we're doing maintenance on the ship, we got to keep the ship stabilized because if we don't stabilize the ship, when we tear this part off the ship, don't say it. So we got to stabilize the ship and keep it balanced and keep everything on the right side. So when we tear this hole and repair it, it'll stay up. You got a big hole that'll be too out of your life. But you got to let God repair it. But he had to take it out to make you better. But you won't let him do it. Because every time, why? Because you don't trust him. If you trust him with his life, you'll be praising him and glory right now right for your life. Because I don't understand it, but I know you got it. And I praise you and glorify with it. And I thank you for stabilizing me for what I am right now with my whole heart, mind, and soul. Because if I know it for you not making it away from me, I wouldn't have it. And I'm magnified. In the midst of this situation, I know you got great things ahead of me. The best is yet to come. Yeah. I glorify you. Yeah. 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 Being heavy and feeling like that. But God, I thank you. It's something to be going through, something to be able to tell God, thank you. And I praise you and glorify you. And I lift you up, God. Why? Because I know this too shall pass. And all you're doing is making me. It's something when you can believe that you ain't seen nothing yet. Well, 
what God gonna do in your life. It's something when you can look at your sister and say, oh God, and know that it's all about a making and processing. Instead of getting anxious and getting fearful. Because you don't know he's making a way for you. And he wants you to change into the way that he's taking you. But you fight against the change. You fight against the change. Because you used to be in you. Used to be in you. You used to have on you. You used to be in like you want to be. But God says, I can't use you the way I want to use you and prosper you like you want to be. I got to change you into what I want you to be. Amen. Amen. Somebody, this is the way I am. Okay. That's the way you is. And God is trying to change. I can see if you weren't going through nothing. You're going through something. And you don't want to change. And you don't want to change. This is just the way I am. And if you don't like it, that's too bad. Well, keep being frustrated, aggravated, angry, bitter, and unhappy. Because God requires you to change. Every situation comes to make you strong. When it's dealing with God. In His way. Now a situation comes to destroy you. All that comes to make the change. Yeah. And it's something where you don't want to change. Years. I'm going to do get out of here right now. Years have passed and you ain't changed yet. And things keep coming at you for you to change. And you won't change. You hold it on to you so you're so used to being you. Things are changing, but you're not changing with it. Circumstances are changing, but you ain't changing with it. And you wonder what's wrong. God is moving and you ain't. And it's something that you don't want to change in the way that God wants you to change. But you still want God to bless you and be there for you. I know right now, I'm going to tell you, I know right now people that's go, God going through some serious stuff that the only reason they're going through because God wants them to change and they still won't change. And they think it's the devil, they think it's the enemy. Yes, the devil is only. The devil got something to do with it because he got the thoughts. He got the, he come to make you go against God and make you feel like God will heal you and like you got to do all these rituals and stuff. But it ain't the devil. You have not changed. And you fight against change. You can't be the same person you was last year. You can't be the, the time is up to be that person. It's time for you to be the person that God called you. But the reason why you can't get the way you go through some things because you won't change. Glory to God. But you want to sit down and blame everybody else. When you the one won't change to what you need to change into. To even handle what you're dealing with.
They don't want to change. Just like we don't want to change for God. I want my, I want my job. I want my, he acted like he's great. You ain't no heaven. It's just the way I am. Mean, the way you was raised ain't even good enough sometimes. You got to be able to adapt to your situation. 